Are you part of a nonprofit organization, a youth group looking to raise cash for your cause? Stay tuned at the end of this video to learn how you can bring the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation to your town live, featuring the superstars and legends of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Philadelphia, on Royal Rumble weekend, get ready for Jim Ross's most intimate event yet, the Slobberknocker Session, Sunday, January the 28th at 12 noon, live at the Diamond Club of Citizens Bank Ballpark, just a stone's throw away from the Wells Fargo Center. This exclusive engagement is limited to only 100 fans and includes an uncensored question and answer session with JR, along with receiving a copy of his must-read autobiography, Slobberknocker, that JR will personally autograph for you and take out your smartphone and pose for a photo with the WWE Hall of Famer that'll make you the envy of your social media circle. Tickets are available now at TicketFly.com. Philadelphia, let's hear from Jim Ross himself about his return to the city of brotherly love. Well, just like the cat says, Slobberknocker, the Slobberknocker sessions are on sale now. And I encourage you to check out TicketFly.com if you're coming to the Royal Rumble, if you're going to be in Philadelphia on Royal Rumble Sunday, January the 28th. Noon is our starting time. TicketFly.com has the tickets. The tickets are 75 bucks. With that, you get a, a signed book and a personalized book, sign, whatever you want. Uh, and a, the picture of you and I in your, on your camera, your device, and then a private Q&A with us, 100 of us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very intimate, very casual, uh, and I'd like to be able to look them in the eye. Our, the fans are the greatest in the world. They motivate me, and I will do my best to entertain and motivate you. So the Slobberknocker Sessions on sale now, TicketFly.com. I'd love to see you there, the first one ever, on Sunday, January 28th, high noon in Philly. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans from around the corner and around the world. I'm Dan Marotti. And, and I'm John Cena Sr. interrupting Dan Marotti. Before we get going with the news fans, let's run this down for you. Now, you're going to be in New Orleans for WrestleMania 34 this spring. Well, for the third consecutive year, the Millennium Wrestling Federation will be part of the WrestleCon convention that takes place WrestleMania weekend, Friday, April the 6th through Sunday, April the 8th. You're talking about hundreds of professional wrestling superstars from every era for you to meet up close and personal, a true chance to create a moment in memory in your life with some of your favorite superstars. John Cena Sr. will be with us. He is going to have with him an authentic ring-used WWE belt that his son John Cena had during his illustrious run thus far. We're talking about a man that was part of the very first WrestleMania, a frenemy of John Cena Sr.'s over the years, Cowboy Bob Orton. What about a gentleman that had a 16-year run in WWE, held multiple championships, hardcore Bob Hawley, along with the true professional wrestling Hall of Famer, the patriarch of the legendary Henning family, Larry the Axe Henning himself, the father of Mr. Perfect, the grandfather of Curtis Axel. Between now and Christmas, we have a special VIP package sale going on where you'll save over 60% off the regular price, and it includes a free WWE t-shirt, a free autographed Christmas card from John Cena Sr. mailed to you, and free entry into a merchandise giveaway we're going to have in New Orleans. We can't do endeavors like this for free, unfortunately, but we strive to give you the best value and the best experiences in professional wrestling. Head on over to bostonwrestling.com now to get you a WrestleCon VIP package today. Johnny, it's certainly turning into a big December for everybody. Wow. Big month, and it all culminates with the big day. One of my favorite. You know what, Johnny? I got to ask you before we get to the the main context of this video. Are you a Christmas Eve guy or are you a Christmas Day guy? Both. I'm an Eve. I like I'm both an Eve days. Up. Christmas Eve is the beginning of the big day. It's when you have all that fun because being Italian, tradition is what I stick by. No meat. We don't have any meat on Christmas Eve. We play 21 Midnight Mass, which they don't have anymore. And then comes the big day Christmas, fast is broken, all the food. But you know what's more important to me than all that stuff? Even the presence under the tree is the love and the sharing with my family. I, you can't wrap that up. 
Just having my sons together, my granddaughters, my daughter-in-laws, that's really what it's all about. It's that big build to that big day. It's the WrestleMania. It's the WrestleMania for, for me. Yeah, you know, I, I always tell people, um, it's, you can't wrap up what you really deserve or get for Christmas in a box. It's not the size, it's not the quantity, it's the love that surrounds the tree. It's the family together for the real meaning of Christmas, sharing that love and understanding. See, you know, it's interesting. We get into these wrestling discussions, but the humanity we bring to it sometimes with some of the off-topic conversations that come up. I know we are both big Christmas people. I love Christmas. And this year the scene is going to be joined by a couple of Hatchimals, I understand. So it's going to be a great celebration. Oh, ooh, what? oh those eggs. Yeah, the eggs. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the little people. No, that's fine. Uh, no, no midgets. Or is that politically no, incorrect? Little, little people. people. I'm, I'm trying, Johnny. I'm trying. You've been trying to teach me. I can't. All right. But let's talk about Johnny, one of the hottest free agents in professional wrestling, if not the hottest right now. Man that is the talk of the town. We're talking about a man I know you've had some chops with, at least, at WWE live events. Y2J Chris Jericho. He's going to be competing on a New, New Japan, Japan Pro Wrestling. Wrestling's version of WrestleMania, oh. January 4th, with Kenny Omega, one of the hottest stars in professional wrestling. WWE, WWE should have him. Why? They can't get their hands on him. Well, he won't sign, according to what he says. He'll never go to WWE. Um, we had a match with him here in the MWF back in 2005 before you came on board, believe it or not. That's one in the archives. I think he's a world-class talent. I, I could do without some of Kenny Omega's comedy. I think that's a little overplayed. I'd like to see a more serious Kenny Omega in the presentation. But you know what? They're making a boatload of cash. And you can't argue with success. He's good. Jericho is fabulous, to coin a word. You know, I wish I could see this match on January 4th. Uh, so do I. It's not going to be televised, unfortunately. Well, if you subscribe to the New Japan version of WWE Network, yeah, you you'll can get access it. it. Yeah, I don't even have the network anymore. Um, so um, my whole thing is Chris Jericho, outstanding superstar. There's a guy that's done a tremendous job putting a lot of people over. This match for New Japan Pro will be, i tell you something, outstanding. You don't want to miss this one. Two of the best in the business. The day we tape this, our good friend Warbeard Hansen is flying home from the same tour of New Japan where the uh, Jericho Omega angle took place where uh, Jericho bloodied up Kenny Omega. Maybe that's Todd right now, Colin. He wants to uh, see what's going on in studio. But uh, the, we talk, spoke about the Young Bucks not too long ago and the success that they've had. You talk about Kenny Omega. Adding Chris Jericho, I think we talked about it with Whoa. some of the different WWE videos. This is giving him some major league superstar rub. New and Japan I, Pro sure. especially, yep. And I have yep. a feeling on January the 4th, being the professional Chris Jericho is, yep. he would be more than willing to lay down for the 1-2-3 if asked. Well, my whole thing is I don't think I'd let it in for the 1-2-3. I think there should be a rematch somewhere down But this the is line. their WrestleMania. You have I, to have really, a clean yeah, finish. But you know what? You love countouts and disqualifications. I, I didn't never say, understood that. There are other you. ways to end the match. All right. What else would there be? You don't have to do a, a count submission? What? Pinfall or submission. How else would you end a match of that magnitude? That. Um, but you know what? My whole thing is, if Jer and I, you're right, Jericho would take the fall. He'd do the He's ball. the ultimate professional. Uh, but I think he should win. And then there should be a rematch. Well, Johnny, how about this scenario? You know, I love my scenarios. I don't know if you've heard about it, but Jericho... Like, yeah, go ahead. Jericho's actually having a wrestling cruise. It's all sold out. Next, Is it really? It's sold out. I try to get you a ticket. Uh, they needed somebody to clean bathrooms, but... Uh, <laughs> it's how, sold out. It really is sold out. Imagine the interest that would come of this if you had Omega lose... Or maybe even... How about this? Omega win in New Japan... Then Jericho and Omega have a rematch on the cruise, and Jericho beats Omega on the Jericho cruise. Not a bad idea. I didn't know the Jericho cruise was already sold out. It's sold out. There really? are no more tickets available. Isn't that it's phenomenal? officially sold out. And I tell you this, I think WWE made a mistake by not allowing him to book an NXT event on that cruise. I think it opened up doors with him uh, having an interest to do other things in other places. Well, you know what? I think he's, he's been loyal. He will always be loyal to WWE. He will be loyal to the man who is WWE, and that's Vincent Kennedy McMahon. If there were any issues at all, I'm sure that this match would not be taking place, regardless of free agent or not. Um, I think that there would be steps to find a way to stop it. I think there's an amicable agreement amongst all parties. 
I think this is going to work out for WWE. It's going to work out for New Japan because now that we've done you a favor, we have a few wrestlers we'd like to have you do us a favor. Well, I don't see that happening at all. Uh, Jericho, I, he has no contractual obligation to WWE. But you know what? But he, no, you're right. He doesn't. But the fact of the matter is there's a loyalty with the people that helped him get where he is today. There's a loyalty there. There's a dedication there. And I respect that with Chris Jericho. Um, and I think that Vince respects that with Jericho. Because if, and I don't know the whole story behind it, but I'm sure, knowing Jericho, that when he was going to do the deed, I'm sure that he talked to Vince about doing that deed. And Vince would then, knowing Vince McMahon, no holds barred, believe me there, I'm sure that there would have been a calling out or something said, don't worry about ever coming back, but, and there wasn't. So I think that it's good. I think um, that Jericho deserves what he's going to be doing. Omega certainly has earned where he is and what he's going to do. So I think it's going to be good for everybody. And you know who wins the most? The fans. And no in the end of the day, it. can you really ask for anything more no. than that? New Japan wins, Jericho wins, Omega wins. Jericho has certainly ups his stock than if he was just coming back for yet another WWE return. Yep. Every diehard fan in professional wrestling is talking about what Jericho is doing right now. And that's going to help us cruise. It's like you said, if it's already sold out. I believe, and I don't know if there's a way to check that, but maybe you'll check that. And put Should it we give him board. a cheap plug? Uh, JerichoCruise.com? Yeah, but I think you can go right ahead. But You my, might not have any luck. Uh, my understanding was um, that it was officially sold out. Wow, well, good for Chris Jericho. But I tell you this, Johnny, are you disappointed that Sunday night, April the 8th, Chris Jericho is not going to be in New Orleans, Louisiana as part of WrestleMania. He's actually going to be at the Hampton... Uh, ballroom Casino in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire, for a Fozzie concert. I have to tell you this. There are a lot of professional wrestlers I enjoy watching and performing. Chris Jericho is one of those individuals. There is no question about his ability, his dedication. I'm sad to hear that April 8th, Chris Jericho will not be at WrestleMania. I won't be there either. But I'm, I'm just sad. You'll be in New Orleans. Uh, I will be in New Orleans, but I will not be at WrestleMania. Um, and I'm just, I'm so, so disappointed because I think Jericho is an intricate part of what WWE is all about. Does having him skip this year's WrestleMania make him more valuable when he eventually does make his WWE return? Because I can't imagine that he won't. I think somewhere, sometime, as they say, um, you know, it's like Candy Camera. You smile because you're on Candy Camera. Somewhere, sometime, when both he and Vince feel the time is right, Jericho will reappear. There'll never be a time until Jericho says so that Jericho will not be on WWE. Well, I just I, I applaud Chris Jericho being able to do so much outside of that WWE umbrella. Because he's certainly got the wrestling world talking. He's done the right thing. And I think it, it benefits everybody. This is not just... Hooray for Chris Jericho. It's hooray for professional wrestling. I think there'll even be more of a roar, no pun intended to our director in the other room, there'll be more of a roar for Jericho when he eventually does come back to WWE. I agree. After what he's doing now. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree with that 100%. All right, wrestling fans, we'll move it on over to that hard camera. John Cena Sr. and I broke it down with Chris Jericho. We broke the walls down, so to speak. Never happened. All right. I've well, never been in the ring with him. I would have liked to have did, a chance. You chopped at house shows, didn't you? No. In Maine? No. Are you sure? Yes. You didn't have any kind of altercation with him at a house show in Maine? No. I think maybe I'll... Well, get this video. You know, Once you hit 60, you start to lose the memory. I don't know what to do. Well, even why are you still able to... Oh! Think? <laughs> good one. For my good friend, Mr. John Cena Sr., I'm Dan Marotti. Again, we wish you and yours a very merry Christmas with a capital C. We hope you have a great holiday season in general and an even better 2018 with good health and great happiness and hopefully enjoying our great presentation. Amen. All right, folks, until we speak again, you and yours, don't forget to check out that Holiday Headlocks toy drive for our good friend Paul Bear. You and yours be well. I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm John Cena Sr. Let us tell you how the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation can help raise cash for your nonprofit cause. Experience the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation live in your city throughout New England, the tri-state area, down through the Carolinas, out to our friends in the Midwest and beyond. If your nonprofit organization is looking for an interactive turnkey experience while putting the fun into fundraising, you've met the perfect tag team partner to work with. 
every step of the way. The MWF offers a variety of packages for groups of almost any size, from our live events at the Boston Garden, the Kowloon Entertainment Dining Complex, and the legendary Suffolk Downs, to high school gyms and function halls, we've presented live events everywhere and anywhere. Since 2001, the MWF's mission has been simple. Keep the kids off the streets. Under the leadership of President David Reese, we bring the superstars of yesterday, today and tomorrow, to your town. Not for a wrestling show, but an event that features action-packed in-ring wrestling, autograph, pose photo opportunities, Q&A sessions, and so much more. It's the best of sports and entertainment. The week of your event, we can add on to the endeavor with anti-bullying campaigns, library meet and greet reads, youth sport concussion seminars, and more. Our live events are fit for fans of any age from 5 to 95. This fall is part of our new Kids Club program. We offer live event experiences exclusively for the youngest of fans. On the flip side, we can produce a tailor-made event for fans of an older demographic as well. We work with you every step of the way to get the word out to fans near and far on our local television offerings and to over 50,000 fans and growing on our social media platforms. Your success is our success. If your group has had enough of candy bar and wrapping paper sales and has the energy to team with our passionate fan base, bringing the NWF experience to your community is the answer to put smiles on faces while raising cash for your cause. Contact us today to get the ball rolling for your custom-made event that you'll want to bring back year after year to your community. Don't just take it from us. Here are the folks we've teamed up with in the past. Through the ages, across generations, we've searched to know everything. Now, our biggest questions will be answered. It's absolutely everything you need to know about WWE. From inside the ring facts to beyond the ring history, everything WWE is right here. Absolutely everything you need to know. Available now online or wherever books are sold.